Good morning, this is Brian from the Riverside Reptiles Education Center, and this morning we're going to briefly go over the defenses of a scorpion. And here in my hand is a large female emperor scorpion, which is actually one of the largest scorpions in the world. Um, they are found throughout the tropical regions of Africa. Um, so this morning we're going to go over their defenses, how they protect themselves from predators. The uh, first thing we're going to talk about um, is their huge pinchers right there. And these pinchers are actually called pedipalps. And she can, you can see she's using her pedipalps right now to kind of figure out where she is. She's um, pinching my fingers and yes, that does hurt. These guys have huge, powerful pedipalps. And primarily emperor scorpions use their pedipalps to crush their prey. Um, they're very powerful. They'll grab a small insect, crush it, and they'll bring it to their head. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but right here in the front on their head, they have tiny little mouth parts um, that act like saws and knives that actually cut their food up for them. Um, they'll mix in some saliva as well that actually acts like a stomach acid, dissolves the food, and then they kind of slurp it up. Um, but they will use their pedipalps in the fence as well. And Believe me, they do have a very, very powerful pinch. Now, the second defense on the scorpion is pretty much the one everyone knows about, and that is this. The stinger, also known as the telson. And the telson is that little bulb right there at the end of the tail. And it's got a very sharp uh, stinger on the end of it. And there's a little reservoir of venom in there surrounded by muscle. So when they... Uh, stab something with their tail, with their telson, they'll contract the muscle and that will make the venom drip out of the end of the telson. It's kind of like a hypodermic needle, um, kind of similar to that of a, of a venomous snake as well. And then they'll inject their venom. Now they rarely use their, their stinger to subdue their prey. Uh, if it's a very large prey item, like a snake or a lizard or maybe another large scorpion, they'll use their stinger. Uh, but primarily, they use it to defend themselves. Now, emperor scorpions, thankfully, their venom is not considered medically significant. Um, if she were to sting me right now, it would hurt. Um, it kind of feels like a bee sting. I've been stung by emperor scorpions before. Um, but it's not life threatening it usually goes away in a couple hours. Um, some species of scorpions, uh, their stings can be deadly. There's a species of scorpion, actually has one of my favorite names you can find in the Mideast. Um, it's called the Israeli Death Stalker. There's also an Israeli Yellow Scorpion. Um, there's, fairly, there's a couple scorpions in North Africa as well that are deadly, and you would never want to free handle one of those. But this is the Emperor Scorpion, as you can see quite placid in nature. All right, so those are the defenses of the scorpion. Big powerful pedipalps, pinch pinch, and a nice huge sting.